Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bray Torn, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we were playing as the Soviet Union. So, in today's episode, we should be getting Italy knocked out of the war. They don't really have very many divisions left to defend their homeland. Most of those are over here and about to be destroyed. I did redraw all these lines here, by the way, so that it's a little bit cleaner than it used to be. Uh, so we can get these areas here wrapped up while these two armies will focus on pushing into Italy. And so once they're uh, capitulated, that should result in the peace treaty. So we'll be doing that this episode, and then we'll be focusing on two new conflicts, uh, which of course is Japan over here. We're building everything up on this side. We've got rails going over there. We've got supply hubs. There's one more thing that we need to get over here. Uh, actually, we should probably get some air bases too. But for right now, let's go ahead and get this radar station all the way up to level six, but we will allow the railroads to build first, so we have a lot of stuff to build, frankly. Uh, we might also want to look at infrastructure eventually, like perhaps get it up right there. Yeah, I can see building infrastructure up right there. The rest of this isn't too shabby here, uh, but let's go ahead and put this up a little bit higher. Oh, you know what? We'll put it above the radar, but below the, but below the rails. Alright, so that looks good, and then, like I said, we'll probably need to get an airbase here eventually as well, because we have a level 5 there. I guess you have some here, but could definitely use more, uh, particularly maybe making this a higher level, but at the same time, we'll get control of all Korea as well, or that's the plan anyways, so we might be able to use those for airbases instead. They're a bit closer to most of Japan. So we won't mess with any airbases just yet. Oh, I also got railway guns heading on over to the east as well, since we don't really have as much use for them over here. Uh, most of the, the fronts where we're at, we don't even have rails that go up there uh, because the rails haven't been uh, flipped over to us just yet. And you'll also notice that we now have a front over here for Finland. Now, I think what we should probably do is move these troops out of here now. Doesn't really matter where. They just gotta go somewhere. We'll just move them over here. Maybe kind of move them around so that they're uh, consuming, too, consuming too much supply there. And this will likely be changed up in the future, uh, this front here. I don't want to put too many troops over there. We do have the rails getting built up over there. Just kind of show what I did here. We got level twos going this way, so these will be able to provide more supply. Uh, as far as adding new uh, supply hubs, though, I don't have any building here just yet. I'm hoping that these will be enough. Uh, if we just look at them, what they currently provide over here. They can reach the uh, borders if we change the motorization level, so we should be okay. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see if that's going to be enough supply. Once we put offensive armies over here, it probably won't be enough. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, remember, those supply hubs do take forever, and thus I don't want to spend too much time building them. But yeah, we are going to declare war on Finland. Uh, the question is how to do that best, uh, because you can go through the focus tree. I think it's a 35-day focus. But that will give us a claim, which I think we already have a claim over there. So that does not give us a war goal, but it does give us the event Soviets demand Karelia. And so maybe they'll just give it to us. We'll just have to see. Uh, but yeah, I think we might just do it through here. Because that's 35, or excuse me, that's 70 days. I was thinking that was a 35 day focus. It's not. So you got to do the 70 days, and then you have to do the 40 we're currently doing for 110. So it'd probably be better to just form it ourselves. And then we can go for a different focus because there's a lot of focuses I want to get uh, but you can see we already have a claim here this would take 65 days but we do have to wait till we get more political power it's not even an option yet so I think that might be the better way to do it but that does require us having to do a full war here all right so let's go and let it play get all these troops moving we already have this guy moving over here and then just need to finish wiping out these guys here again it should be fairly easy for the most part as they're pretty weak up along here. They do actually have some divisions here though. So we are gonna have to fight them. Now they took that province, which I'm actually happy with, because I believe that province was not ours. Or maybe it's this one, it's this one here. Uh, these are in the hands of Yugoslavia, who's part of the allies and who we're not at war with. And therefore we can't take those provinces. So these three here. And we still occupy it though, so it might flip over to us. I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen there. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right, so I believe we're completely done here. Let's go ahead and throw some of these offensive armies over here so they can help us out. And then just take away 
the red army that's here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of them. And what I've been doing with them since... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, they had two fronts over there. All right, that's fine. We'll just put them back over here. That's not a problem. All right, so it looks like they still had a front over there. All right, so the whole red army will move over there. Uh, but what I've been doing with some of the armies is just setting them to garrison certain areas so they'll kind of spread out and hopefully not exhaust the supply there until we are able to move them to the east. Uh, if we moved them all to the east now, the supply would become a major issue over there. And we have to wait till they finish attacking here or till we get more troops over here to, to do this job. Uh, let's keep this guy here and just start racing down the coast here. Try and get this territory taken as quickly as possible. Really targeting the victory points. Alright, we'll go this way here. Yeah, really just trying to target the victory points and get those snatched up as quickly as we can. Alright, you guys come over this way. Fantastic. All right, so getting that all taken care of. Uh, let's try and avoid attacking across the rivers if possible. We'll attack from that direction though. Uh, they are about to move over here, so let's go and move the railway gun back. We just don't have any troops over here at this moment to really stop them. Uh, they are about to cut this guy off, so let's go and attack him just to stop that. Uh, but look at the advancement. If they would have been this more, you know, aggressive. Oh, we got the Yalta Conference here. Yeah, they should have been this aggressive back when they had a, a chance. For the most part, they just kind of let us do whatever we wanted and didn't really even attempt to stop us. So yeah, they should have been they should have been this aggressive before. Uh, let's go and attack over here, or not with those guys. Let's just attack with them. Go and attack right here as well. All right, so the Yalta Conference. Uh, so we will dictate our own piece. Uh, we're not going to do this. I don't feel like they have any right to anything. They did nothing in the treaty. So yeah, I'm not gonna say for the sake of lasting cooperation, we're gonna say we will dictate our own peace. We refuse to participate in the British proposal there. Uh, so with the dockyards, let's we'll put these into the destroyers. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we're not gonna be using the fleet for the most part to take care of the, the Japanese fleet. We're gonna have to do that with our naval bombers. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep these tanks pushing forward. Grab all this territory here. They do have a few divisions to stop us, to try and stop us at least. In Italy, but not very many. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe five. Maybe five divisions. It's not a lot, guys. Not a lot of divisions. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of this territory here. Get these guys all wiped out. Uh, go ahead and send in this guy. Oops, looks like I didn't send him in. There we go. All right, excellent. So they're all coming over here. Let's go and attack with them. And we'll throw them into that attack as well. Uh, but yeah, you can see they are pushing forward here, grabbing provinces rapidly. We don't have any troops to, to stop them right now. And uh, they're definitely in a position where they can cut us off in some locations too. Uh, again, I would have loved to see them be this this aggressive before oh yep so they cut us off here but yeah they didn't they didn't really uh make any attempts and while we cut them off they didn't really do anything they just kind of allowed it to happen uh let's get these guys out of here i think we could also move them over to here i don't think it's going to be uh necessary though so let's just go ahead and get them out of there and we're going to put them it doesn't really matter where we put them uh they just need to be supplied so we're going to move them over here Kind of spread them out a little bit. Uh, we should probably make sure they don't have any other orders though before we do that. All right, so let's do it again. All right, so hopefully that's good for supply. We'll just have to wait and see. Just trying to keep them somewhere where they can uh, sit while we we wait to get all that stuff built up over there. Uh, we're waiting to get the 25 political power to deal with the. Kind of feel like we should attack this guy here so that he can get behind them. So we can do the, the war goal on Finland. Yeah, and could do it through the focus tree, but yeah, I just feel like that's gonna be the better way to do it. It's just gonna take too long otherwise. Alright, so sweep it across here, tanks moving down here so that they can start pushing forward. Uh, what have we done over here? We've almost gotten them wiped out, so let's go and just finish this up now. We did get the cipher for Japan, fantastic. Uh, so next, 
I guess we'll just keep on working on the Germans. Not that it matters. I mean, there's really nobody else we need to do. Actually, you know what? Let me take that back. There is somebody else we need to do. We need to do the uh, Manchuria there. All right, so let's just make sure these units continue moving forward. We're about to take Rome. We'll have to get the majority of Italy, likely, in order to get them to capitulate. And it looks like we were not able to get there before them, unfortunately. All right, so that's a shame we did take Rome. We've also finished up the research of the new mechanized. Uh, so we'll get those building here in a minute. Let's go and get something else researching here. Uh, we've done almost all the 1942 techs there for the uh, support companies. Just need to get the field hospitals, and there's one other one I think we have to get over there. I don't think there's any point on doing any like equipment that we have to build. I mean, you could do these here. I already have something going there, though. Yeah, I'd prefer to just get stuff that gives us passive bonuses at this point, because I don't really expect... Oh, we do construction. That would be helpful. Yeah, but I don't expect this is going to last much longer, this campaign, I mean. All right, so I'm going to sweep across there. We're going to go grab Milan. That's going to be key uh, in order to get... Uh, we don't want to go that way. In order to get them to capitulate here. So I'm going to sweep across there. And let's just go ahead and march down to Naples here. Try and get these victory points. These fast tanks can grab them up for us. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. So uh, these guys need to go occupy somewhere. Yeah, and just got to place them somewhere where they're not going to exhaust the supply. Let's put them over here. Right now, although I keep forgetting to delete any orders, though it looks like they didn't have any orders, so we would have been all right keeping that, I think. So I just kind of move them over here. And you know what? We could also have some of those guys train up, too. I guess we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's get Italy knocked out so we can do this peace treaty. All right, so get all that taken. Looks like there actually is a division down here attempting to stop us. Uh, we haven't finished this up here yet, so let's go ahead and make that happen. Let me pull this guy back. So just about done here. Again, they, they are pushing forward here, interestingly enough. Because our divisions just haven't arrived yet, for the most part. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of divisions. Or we're across a river, which I'm not really interested in attacking across rivers. Or really into mountains either, but I guess we'll do that one. But yeah, I don't want to do across the river into the mountain. That would be horrible. Just going to hurry up and get across that river there when there's nobody defending. That'll cut this division off here. I mean, they're all cut off technically, but we're trying to get them wiped out now. Uh, especially because they've taken possession of some of our forts here. All right, let's go ahead and dip back over to Italy because none of that will matter. I mean, we might want to finish it up, though, I suppose, so that we occupy all that territory. Because remember, that's some of that's allied territory, I think. Um, maybe not. This one here would be, so you want to finish that up. How long do we have before the Italians capitulate? Not long. They're at 77%, and of course the, their territory is wide open. So there's not much they can do to stop us. Uh, let's go and get the new mechanized out there. And we'll also give them some factories since they need to build that. And we have extra factories. We have some dockyards, likely from the Italians. Uh, we'll just throw this into anything. I don't really care about the fleet that much. Uh, and we don't need to trade for all these resources now. I'm guessing we got these also from Italy. Uh, but we do need more rubber. All right, excellent. I'm glad we've been able to trade for rubber in this campaign. A lot of times it becomes an issue because, you know, the allies lose all that territory over there. Uh, but they haven't lost the territory in this one. In Asia, I mean. Uh, we got the streamlined line, uh, so I guess we'll go out to excavation. We are starting to have some resource issues for resources that we actually have plenty of. So it makes sense to go ahead and get that tech. All right, so let's go and wipe all that out. I've already moved the planes over here. I'm going to grab this territory here. Actually, well, he can go this way. So again, it's just about getting territory at this point. Alright, so let's go ahead and have him go this. I'm trying to have him go straight over there, jeez. And you guys can go over here, except for you. Go back that way. Uh, and looks like we don't have anybody assigned to here right now. I'm just going to grab that last victory point down there. That's probably all that's going to be necessary uh, once we get all this taken care of. Again, though, got to get this done here. So let's keep on throwing troops into this to try and get it done sooner. 
Uh, go ahead and attack those guys. I know this is across a river in this case, but it's okay. So I'm going to go across here, and let's just go ahead and attack those guys. Uh, these guys here probably are attacking across the river as well. Try not to get, you know, unnecessary casualties on these attacks here. Just wiping out troops. Just seems unnecessary to, to do attacks that might result in us taking casualties. But I'm also trying to just get it done as well, so. Let's go and attack with all these guys here. We'll send them into the attack. Maybe send these guys. Yeah, just start attacking with anybody who's on this other side of the river. Alright, beautiful. Uh, looks like one of the armies are done here. Yep. So let's go ahead and get them moving. We'll just put them on to... Let's actually make sure that they don't have any orders. And yeah, we'll just put them into Poland. Just give them a lot of territory so they don't run out of supply there. Alright, so another reason to really try and advance here rapidly is because the Allies are over here. And they're taking territory over, getting credit for occupation, so that's giving them points that we don't want them to have. And of course it'll make it more expensive for us to take that territory in the peace treaty if they're the ones that are currently occupying it. But down here there's no real concern. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the factories. Make sure we're, we're constantly building stuff. Uh, we'll take a look to see if there's anything that we severely need. I mean, we're not really losing a ton of equipment at this point. I mean, I guess some of these are, uh, the infantry equipment here, losing a lot of that. Uh, but we already have a lot of factories in the infantry equipment. We kind of have a lot of factories everywhere. Often by this point in the game, I just kind of stop building stuff because I don't care anymore. Because <laughs> it just feels like it's a waste of time. Since it's not even a, a problem anymore. I mean, we have everything we need to defeat the Japanese already. Let these guys go straight down here. Go and get all that taken care of. How far until the Italians capitulate? They're at 90%. Uh, we're almost done over here as well. Getting the last of these troops destroyed. So one thing I would like to do before they capitulate is go ahead and take a look at the total casualties. Uh, this here obviously isn't necessary, so we're going to put them over there. We'll have them come all down there and just get rid of these two fronts here. And then he can go ahead and finish this up for us. Actually, let's go this way first. Try and beat the Italians there. Oh, and I didn't look at the, the casualties, unfortunately. I thought they had 90%, but I guess us seizing that was just enough. So now we are in the peace treaty. This is uh, going to be a large peace treaty. It involves all the Axis powers here. Uh, as far as points go, we have far more points than the, the British do. So we should definitely end up controlling this peace treaty. But unfortunately, they have so many points that there's probably going to be more they, they, they're they able to do than I would like. Like, they might be able to puppet countries that we were the ones to defeat and annex, or excuse me, uh, uh, you know, force their capitulation, and that we're currently occupying. Now, a lot of people want me to give Norway and Denmark to Sweden here uh, for their efforts in the war. And I'd like to do that, but again, it's not a priority, and I, I think uh, points will become an issue because the Allies, unfortunately, have way more points than they deserve. They did nothing over here, uh, but because they took so many casualties, uh, especially the British in, in Africa, because they took so many casualties, I do expect they'll be able to do way more than they should be able to do. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what all we can do. I hope that the British start here in Africa. I assume that they would since they occupy that territory, but that is not going to cost them that much. It looks expensive, but that's just the cost for us because we don't occupy it. Uh, this is all really cheap territory, so they should be able to do it quickly for very little points. I just don't think we'll be able to do as much as I'd like to do, so we really need to focus uh, what we want to do first, make sure we get that done. Uh, so, like, for instance, we know we wanted to create the Black Sea here, uh, you know, into our sea, where we control the entire coastline of the Black Sea. So we have to take that province there. Could leave a, a weakened Bulgaria here, but I feel like the map would just look weird like that. So I prefer to just go ahead and annex all this. And just there won't be a Bulgaria, for the most part. Again, I don't know how much we're going to be able to do, but we'd want to take... At least that territory there from the Greeks. And then I really feel like we want to take this up here as well. And we're annexing all this, by the way. We're going to annex Poland. Uh, but we will do puppeting if I have the points for it. I'd like to puppet Germany and Italy. 
Yeah, I think those would be uh, two that would warrant puppeting. Uh, but all these up here, all this land up here on the, the uh, borders of us, I'd like to just annex that. I'm not sure what to do with Yugoslavia yet. Uh, might not even be a choice, though. Uh, we just might not have the, the points to do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and annex all of Poland with the hope that they won't be able to puppet them. Because remember, anything we leave open, they can create a puppet, even if it's just one little province. Uh, then they can puppet Poland, and it would be really cheap, too even though we occupy it, just because it's only one province. Uh, so we're going to try and create some decent borders here. And we're actually able to do a lot more than I was expecting, so that's good. Alright, so that's what the current line looks like. It's not great. But next, we should probably... God, yeah, I don't want them... I might have to take those just so they can't create puppets. Yeah, we'll have to do that. I kind of want... I wouldn't be against creating a little tiny Hungarian puppet here. But we won't do that. All right, so we're probably gonna wanna take that on the river there. Outside of that, we're gonna just have to leave this and then start doing the puppeting if we even have the points, uh, because I don't know if it's gonna be possible at this point. Uh, so let's, nope, we don't have the points. Damn. What if we didn't take that one? Would that give me enough points to puppet Germany? It would. All right, so we're gonna puppet Germany just so the allies can't do that. I don't know if there's anything else we can take. I'd like to take this territory here. Uh, but if we can't take that... Oh, it's 26 points, because we don't occupy it. I was going to say, if you can't take that, then you can't do anything, because that's a really cheap one, but it's it's actually not. But I do want to take all this here, uh, the little islands. Greek islands there in the Aegean. But yeah, it's just too expensive. I'm looking. What I'm looking for right now is like really, really cheap stuff. They might only cost like two or three points, but there's nothing. No, everything would be too, too expensive. So we're going to have to let the Allies get their turn and just see what they do. The Americans probably won't be able to do much, but the British have a lot of points. I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, they just take Africa. And then with us occupying all this territory, they won't be able to do anything else. But I think that's wishful thinking. I think they will be able to do something. Uh, but there's the, the Dutch as well. I'd like to take their territory. Uh, Dutch East Indies are not part of the peace treaty. Uh, but yeah, there's the Dutch over here as well. Uh, it'd be nice to get them puppeted, I suppose. But this is what we can do. This is what we have the points for, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and end our turn, and we'll see what the British do. They created a supervised state in Iceland. Changed their government up. All right, so they didn't really do all that much. There's still a lot of territory up, and they still haven't dealt with Africa yet. I'm assuming the things they did were really expensive. Uh, yeah, because they, they didn't do much. So this is what our borders currently look, look like. Uh, obviously, it leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> like here. I don't know. Is that... Hmm. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have took that one. We, we definitely need to clean this up here. This is incredibly ugly uh, border-wise. So we want to clean that up. But I feel like we should probably puppet these other countries first. Uh, like Particularly the Italians. While we still can. So let's go and puppet the Italians. I almost want to just take the entire Balkans over. Just make the Balkans Russian. <laughs> Soviet. Yeah, I almost just want to annex it all. I don't know how you don't annex it. I mean, I guess you could leave Greece. Yeah, I don't know how you, you don't annex this and make the, the map look good and not have a lot of map core. I mean, maybe you could release somebody, but a lot of the, the Balkan countries look strange, like Croatia has those strange borders. But yeah, you could like... Well, we won't all liberate anybody. Uh, but yeah, we could like satellite some of these countries. Yeah, like I wouldn't want to do Croatia. We could do Bosnia, I suppose. Uh, Montenegro, the little little countries here. But it probably just look better to just annex it all, honestly. Yeah, I think it's probably just better to annex it all. Uh, where is I'm looking for Serbia. Oh, here it is. Yeah, you could satellite Serbia. Uh, but yeah, I think we're just going to annex all the Balkans. You know, they kind of share a culture group with us in uh, paradox terms. You know, we're all Slavic. Uh, so, you know, obviously these are Southern Slavic while we're East Slavic. Well, the Russians for a long time wanted to, to have influence in the Balkans. I mean, they did have influence in the Balkans, of course. Uh, but I could see them wanting to annex all the Balkans. Bring all the Slavic peoples uh, you know, we've already, you know, conquered Poland, for instance. 
Uh, bring all the Slavic peoples under the Soviet Union? Yeah, I feel like that would be a good goal to have. So why not? Now, one thing I, I do find unfortunate is that we weren't able to get Finland into that uh, this peace treaty here. That would have been nice. Because what would have happened is they would have joined the Axis right away, and thus we probably wouldn't have had to do much. We wouldn't have had to completely conquer them, and then they would have been part of the, the peace treaty. So yeah, that would have been an easy way to, to get them into the peace treaty without having to do a whole lot of work. Oh um, yeah, I think we're just going to annex all this. Uh, so let's do any uh, puppeting that we, we want to do. Like, for instance, we, we know we've already done the Italians, but maybe the, the Dutch as well. As for uh, Denmark and Norway, we want to give those to Sweden. That might be kind of expensive though, because we don't actually occupy that territory. Yeah, that could cost a lot of points. And uh, while I'd like to do it, I don't know that it's going to be worth it. We'll see, guys. Um, let's let's focus on some of the other stuff first. So what we want to do is, yeah, we'll, we'll do the Dutch first here. Go ahead and puppet them so that the uh, British can't do that. Uh, looks like nobody else is part of the peace treaty here in the, the low countries, just the Dutch. Is there anybody else we want to puppet? I don't think so. Uh, we could puppet Denmark and Norway instead of adding them here. That might be uh, cheaper to do. No, it's still pretty expensive. Uh, Denmark's cheap. Let me just, we'll just take a look here, rather than me assuming, and see how much points this is going to be. Yeah, Norway is incredibly expensive, guys. I mean, stupidly expensive. But Denmark, we could do that. And that's funny, you know, because the Danish used to, uh, you know, hold the, the Swedish crown. So why not have uh, Sweden annex Denmark? And then you could even give them this territory taken from the Germans. But they might just give it right back because it's not core territory. I don't know, it's hard to say, because uh, remember, they'll be in our uh, faction, the, Germ the Germans will be. I mean, I can see taking that from Germany as a penalty. How expensive it is, it's not that bad. So taking that from Germany and giving it to Sweden. Yeah, we'll do that. They used to be uh, Denmark's territory, they used to hold that, so why not? We'll give that to, to Sweden. And that's probably all we're going to do for Sweden right now, just because of how insane these costs are here. I just don't think it's worth it when we have so many other things we need to do. Uh, so let's go back up to ourselves and go ahead and start annexing the the rest of the Balkans, and we can't do it. Yeah, we just don't have enough points. We can do a little bit, so we can take that for the 24 points. Well, that's 19. We can do that. But we need to consider, like, what the borders are going to look like here if they were to, let's say, uh, create a subject here, the British were. Uh, we could start taking territory for the Germans. That might be really cheap. No, not as cheap as I thought it was going to be. All right, so can't do that yet either. How about for the Italians? Well, we can't do that because we just now puppeted them. Yeah, so that's not an option either. Uh, what about over here? Are these cheap enough? Yeah, that's cheap enough. We're going to grab that for eight points, and that's probably all we're going to be able to do. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that'll be our turn. And are they messing things up? <sighs> They're messing things up, guys. This is what I'm worried about. They satellited that one <laughs> little province there from Germany. Damn it. All right, Kashubia. Damn, that's a real shame. I would have took that. All right, well, we might have to go after Silesia then so they can't free them. And then, yeah, you got Czechoslovakia. That's a problem as well. Yeah, that's a real shame, guys. All right, well, let's go ahead and just do what we can. Uh, we could pass, but that gives them more time to, to do stuff. Uh, none of these are... They're not going to give any of this territory to them because none of this is their core territory. Uh, I think the, the problem would be Silesia here. Now, we could just create a bunch of satellites here just so you don't have that problem. Uh, we could just satellite and Czechoslovakia. Of course, we already annexed all this territory here, and I think it looks better that way, anyways. Uh, but yeah, we could just create a bunch of uh, sub subjects down here, like Austria, uh, Czechoslovakia, and Silesia, and then give this to Germany here. I assume they're going to want to take that and give that back to France. If they do that with their points, then so be it. I think the rest of this is is pretty solid. There's nothing else we have to worry about when it comes to them releasing it, you know, uh, new states or anything like that. I thought I saw another tag there. I think we're good to go. 
Yeah, I don't think there's any other territory that we have to worry about them taking from us. All right, uh, let me just double check over here. Okay, so yeah, nothing they can release there. So let's go ahead and start annexing now, I suppose, uh, down here. Uh, now there are the Greeks as well, but I'm gonna try and keep this territory, I think. <sighs> yeah, we just don't have enough points. Uh, that's 33 points, so if you do this one here, that's not too bad. I guess we'll do that. 19 points, grab Morava. Uh, six points for Kosovo, but can't do it. It's too expensive. They could try and release Kosovo, though. I guess they could release any of these, though. Yeah, any of that's a possibility. I wish they'd come deal with Africa. That's the where they, they lost all their manpower in the war. Their casualties was all over Africa. This is the territory they occupy. I just don't know why they're not concentrating on that. They're over here messing our map up. I think that's it. I think that's all we're going to be able to do, guys. Unfortunately. Uh, so let's go and enter turn. We might have to pass. They satellited Albania. Yeah, they're just not letting us get the Balkans. They're being jerks about it. So I don't want to to pass because that gives them another opportunity to satellite more countries uh, in, the, in, the, in the meantime. All right, so where would it be the worst situation if they probably here? So let's go ahead and seize control of all that, and then we'll just go ahead through here and, and try and get all these Balkan, so they can't release them. Get all this Balkan territory here, because all this has releasable tags. Ah, damn. They might be able to take that one from us here. Not much to be done about it, though. Uh, is there anything that's cheaper than 44 points that is on our borders? Could take that, I suppose. Oh, nope, you can't. That's too expensive. All right, so I guess we'd want to start taking territory for the Germans now, if there's any that are, are cheap enough for us to do that. Uh, we know we can't take 40-something. How about 30s? Nope, nothing in the 30s. So nothing we can do here. Uh, what about the Italians? Do they have anything really cheap? And I want to make sure that it connects. Yeah, that's 33 points. Can't do that. So I don't think there's anything else we can do here, guys. We're just going to have to pass, unfortunately. And uh, give the British more time to mess our map up here in the Balkans. <laughs> All right, so they weren't able to do anything else, it looks like. But we won't be able to do much either because the British have so many points. I don't know if they passed. Yeah, they might have passed. Uh, and they are subjugating these countries as well, so those are all British subjects now. Uh, but let's go and take the last of this territory here that they could potentially release. I think that's it. Uh, and then, of course, you got Greece as well. I believe that's all they can do now is just Greece. So let's go and work on that. If we have the points, we'll take as much as we can. Yeah, we can't get Attica, unfortunately. It's 63 points. So there might be a little independent Greece down here. It's a, it's a possibility because they are really focused on the Balkans. Uh, I think it's just because they know I want it. All right, so let's go ahead and get more territory for the Germans then, if we can. Again, uh, I don't think we have a lot of points here. Yeah, I can't do the 27, so that doesn't leave anything. We saw the Italians have, uh, yeah, everything's just too expensive for them as well. I wonder if France will take this. Savoy, we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing else for us to do here. Everything's just too expensive right now. Uh, once we finish Greece, I'll, I'll start passing because I won't be worried about them, you know, releasing anybody. Uh, but until we get Greece, I mean, we're just doing so little per turn right now. Uh, so they finally dealt with Africa. Uh, they did take this, but they, they didn't give it to France. Instead, they released them as an independent country. Okay. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> They've also done uh, made some changes up here as well. Made a supervised state in Greenland. Uh, so this is how Africa looks. It's uh, been broken into several countries. They've taken that Italian territory, broken up several countries over here as well. Made it into Libya. I freed them as, as Libya, I should say. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and try and take Greece. We're not going to be able to get it all. Like we already know. I mean, we can get one. I guess there's that. I mean, I assume this is pretty expensive for them. Let's just pass, guys, and hope they don't free Greece. I mean, what else can we do? Uh, so that got us enough points to hopefully finish up Greece. Yeah. Uh, so Greece is done. And so now there's not really much we have to worry about anymore at this point, with the exception of Norway. So if we can take any territory from Norway and give it to Sweden, then we should do that now. And where is Sweden? Did I pass them? I thought they were higher up in, on here. I guess you got all the subjects first, don't you? And then you have the other countries. Uh, but these are incredibly expensive. 
So again, we might just have to pass a few times before we can deal with Norway. Uh, so in the meantime, we'll just take territory for the Germans and Italians. Since that's the only thing we're going to be able to afford. So yeah, we'll take this territory up along the coast here. Doesn't look like we can get that for the 61 points. Uh, so maybe try the Italians or the Dutch next. It'd be nice to get the Dutch done with. 43 points, but yeah, we won't be able to take both of them. But you can take one. All right, so we'll take that one for the Dutch. And we'll see if there's anything cheap for the Italians that we can do. No. All right, so those are the options. That means we're going to have to uh, end our turn, and then we will pass at least once. I did do the supervised state in Norway. All right, so Norway is going to be free. I mean, we could give these to Sweden if we can get enough points. Uh, or give this one to Sweden. Why not? Let's give that to Sweden. Just because. I feel like they got to get... Well, they got Denmark, so they got something... Yeah, we could take this and give it to Sweden. Why not? Uh, it's going to be expensive, of course. Uh, but the rest of that will have to go to Norway, obviously. Since it is separated from Sweden. So Norway will be a little bit smaller. So we'll do that. I know it's really expensive. Probably not worth the points, honestly. Uh, so now it's just the Italians and Germans, right? Let me make sure there's no other territory that can be freed here. I don't think so. Okay, so yeah, it's just the Germans and Italians. Oh, yes, and the Dutch. We didn't take this last province here, so we'll do that just to get the Dutch done. And let's go and work on the, the Germans now. And we'll take whatever we can from. Which we do have a lot of points due to passing. I don't think we'll have enough to get them done, though. Nope, just one that we couldn't take. Munich for 54 points. So let's go and see if we can't take something that's cheaper for the Italians. We cannot. We can't get Sardinia for him, so why not? Since uh, we know we'll get all this for Italy. All right, so that's going to be the end of our turn here. See what the British did. I assume... Okay, they didn't take that territory for Norway just yet. But they'll likely do that on their, their next turn. Uh, so Germany's just about done, so let's go ahead and finish them. They were up at the top here. Now they're further down. All right, so we'll get Munich for Germany. And then uh, go ahead and take the south here for the Italians, or what we can. Uh, that one's 35 points, so we're not going to find anything cheaper than that. All right, so we're going to end our turn, and we should probably pass once so we can get this done. All right, so just the Italians left. Okay, so they did Norway. They finished Norway. I didn't even see that, though. Oh, it's right there. I just missed it. So, yeah, they finished Norway, and it looks like they might be done. Because you see they're not even up here. So I think they might be done. They also might not be up here because we passed. But yeah, if they are done, then we'll be able to do. It won't really matter. Okay, so they're not done. So we'll have to do these ones on the next turn, I think. And yeah, there's, there's not really possibly anything for them to do. Not, they're not interested in annexing any of this or adding it to anybody. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. So that's the peace treaty. So we had a couple negatives here. A couple things I didn't want to have happen. Uh, and we have completed the restoration and development now. Which is right down here. Uh, so that is completed once you're no longer at war with any of the major powers. So once you finish up the war, you get that knocked out. That gives you this uh, spirit here, which is going to... Increase the number of consumer goods factories we need, so we'll have less civilian factories for building. But we can repair faster, and we can build infrastructure quicker for one year. And that unlocks several new propaganda decisions. And it lets us go further down that tree. Alright, so that's the, the peace treaty, guys. So we have a lot of little states here now, up on the border between us and Germany. All right, so I guess we'll want to start getting all of our troops moved around. Uh, start moving them over here. I don't know how we've done on getting the stuff built over here. we still got a lot left to do, guys. We really haven't gotten much done. Uh, I, I suppose we'd be Italy really quick. Uh, they didn't have any troops to stop us, so I knew it would be quick. But it was a little bit quicker than I was anticipating. Uh, we can also move these guys out of here. And just, again, just placing them places for now. Those guys are good on supply. Yeah, just putting them places for right now. 
and hopefully that'll be good. And uh, also kind of make sure that the, the troops we have here aren't lacking supply. There's one unit here. I think that's because of the mud, though. Uh, what about... Oh, we still have all these troops moving everywhere. All right, so let's go and get the, the armies that are in Italy. Get them moving elsewhere. Also, these armies here. Again, just need to put them somewhere for right now. Doesn't matter where, honestly. I mean, it kind of matters because of supply. But we can't move them to the east yet until we get the supply situation dealt with. And we could move some troops over there. Maybe we'll move one army. No, no, no. Let's get the supply fixed, guys. I know it takes time to get over there, but I don't see any point on moving a bunch of troops over there and exhausting the supply. Uh, so let's go ahead and put these guys over here, really spread them out as well. Because the supply here is not great. All right, so those guys are going over that way. Um, they already have an order here. We need to give these guys an order. Uh, nobody's occupying most of the Balkans here, so we'll just do that. And let me make sure that any orders they had are deleted first. So yeah, just go ahead and have them occupy the Balkans. Yeah, just give them something to do. Normally, what I used to do is I just take the whole army and then throw them somewhere in a province. Uh, you know, a province that had good supply, uh, you know, like Moscow or something like that. But now with the new supply system, doing that's not really an option. It requires this this micromanagement so you don't... Because, you know, if you put all the troops in Moscow, they'll have, you know, no supply. So it's kind of unfortunate that you can't just throw a whole army somewhere. I mean, you could say it makes sense, I suppose, but it still kind of sucks when it comes to the micro. You know what? These guys have a front somewhere, I think. So we have to redo this. All right, so just have them occupy this. And again, just hope we don't have any uh, supply issues anywhere. Uh, is there anybody who doesn't have orders? Just these guys. All right, so that is what the peace tree looks like, guys. So the Italians lost their one state here, which I think would have been better if the French had been given that. Uh, they would have looked a lot better if they had just given this back to the French, because I think this was originally in French hands. Uh, it's a French core, so it would have been better if they just gave that to France, but uh, I suppose the British looked at it as like, France, you didn't you didn't do enough or something, uh, so they just weren't going to reward them. I'm not entirely sure why they didn't give it give it to them. Uh, I guess maybe the, the AI doesn't try and give territory to allies. Yeah, maybe they don't, they don't give territory to allies. I'm not entirely sure how it works. We'll move all these rail guns and stuff later. I guess we can move them out of Germany. Any rail guns we have over here can move as well. Uh, but there's really not much to, to do with them yet. I already have two going to the east. And we'll move more over there eventually. But again, I'm really worried about supply over there. All right, so everybody should have an order, hopefully. Uh, we do have a decision available. So it looks like it's these ones down here. We're doing the socialist education, increasing communism support, also giving them some research bonuses. They should all be very communist, though, because we satellited them. So they should have high communist support. 61% uh, here. So it looks like it's all 61%. That's interesting. That's an exact number. Okay. Yeah, it's all 61%. So we're going to want to take care of these guys next. Do we want to do it through here now? Because I'm worried that they'll join the allies if we attack them. And I don't want to fight the allies. So what we might want to do is wait until after we attack Japan. Yep, so they'll join the Japanese faction. Now, supply here is horrible. Good God. Now, these guys are not set to, to change the supply automatically, so we're going to have to do that. Uh, everybody's canceling non-aggression packs, by the way. Uh, so let's go ahead and change it up using the, uh, the motorized here to see if that will improve... The supply, because yeah, supply is horrible over here. Not surprising, of course, but still. So we're going to want to fix all these. And let's see if that improves the situation at all. Now, we are building up the rails here so they can provide more supply, but of course, that's not the problem. Just one unit in these provinces, and we can't supply them. Yeah, everybody's canceling non-aggression packs with us. 
since we no longer have a shared enemy. Uh, we get the advanced artillery upgrade. That's that passive upgrade. I suppose we can go and knock these out, guys. Uh, we need to go up to speed 5 now. As we're now going to be working on building up our eastern infrastructure, rails, all that kind of good stuff over here. So that's going to take time. Uh, particularly those supply hubs are going to take a while. But sitting on speed 5, we should be able to get it done fairly quickly. It's got me concerned everybody canceling non-aggression packs. Now, again, they're only doing it because we don't have a shared enemy, but but still, it's concerning. Uh, but you get the Concentrated Industry 5. Excellent. Uh, so I think we're pretty good here. Could start getting the rubber processing in case the Allies attack us because we get all our rubber from them, so that would become a serious issue. We need to take a look at our resource situation, actually. Uh, to make sure that we're not trading for anything we don't need to. It does look like we don't have any resources that we need to trade for. But yeah, we could have some that we're trading for unnecessarily. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the Field Hospital 3s. Let's take a look at the supply. We are trading for more rubber than we need. Uh, likely because we lost a lot of factories. Yeah, I bet we lost a bunch of factories. So now we need to pull factories back in quite a few areas, I think. I'm building up the strategic bombers because we're going to use those against the Japanese. And yeah, just going to have to pull back on a lot of stuff here. To get it going back down to the uh, planes, which we definitely need. We'll need those against the Japanese. We can take a look and see how many planes they got. I assume they have a decent air force that they built up by this point. Yeah, we need to pull a lot of factories, a lot more than I've pulled so far. Let me just take a look, see what we're really stacked on that we can pull from. Infantry equipment is absolutely stacked now from all those capitulations, so we can go and pull from that. Now, we do need to keep them updating, so you might not want to completely pull them, but uh, let's go ahead and also pull back trade here, although we might actually need it by the time we're done assigning these factories here. I mean, we're pretty stacked on, on most equipment types. So let's just pull back on a lot of this stuff. All right, so I think that's good. We do need to retrade for all that rubber since we moved all those over to planes. We don't need as much tungsten now. So keep pulling this back. In fact, we're gonna have to do this manually. There we go. And we'll have to do this manually as well. That's nowhere near enough. Maybe like, there we go. Uh, we can do one more. All right, excellent. So we got the anti-partisans. We're going to keep doing those. I actually have some of these guys doing anti-partisans, or they were. Uh, we had them doing it in Germany. Uh, so we want to move all these agents again. Now, we currently have two over there in Japan. They're currently uh, building Intel, or one's building an Intel in Manchukuo. The other one's in Japan. So we could throw another one over there to get it going up higher. Uh, we're about to get another operative here in five days. And thus, it would be good to have this as high as possible so that we can uh, maybe do some missions against the Japanese. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do another one of the uh, root out resistance here in one of these high resistance locations. Looks like Yugoslavia might be the worst location. That's the way it appears. So I'll put them over here. There we go. So just kind of reduce the amount of troops we have to use for the uh, the garrisons. Right now we have 360,000. That's a lot. A lot of dudes in the garrisons. Also, we have some more decisions available I haven't looked at yet. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what these are about here. All right, so these are the plant reorganization. So we finished that one that we were working on. Got it. And that means we can keep doing it. I wasn't sure how it worked. Uh, let's do the soft attack. They're just little increases, but they help. Uh, these guys are all done training, so we could move them somewhere. Uh, but again, the only place to really go at this point, is both of the two locations we want to go to, uh, supply is an issue. So we can't really move there just yet. Uh, one thing we might need to do is build infrastructure up here. Because that would uh, help out a bit. So let's go ahead and build some infrastructure here. Again, we're working on so many things at this moment. That's really what our issue is right now. I don't know how many civilian factories we have going here. Yeah, I mean, we really don't have a lot. 
You just have the three lines and then almost a fourth line. That's that's not a lot for 1943. And the, the Soviets lose so many of their factories uh, to the uh, uh, to some of the, the national spirits they have. Uh, so, do we have anybody for Japan? That's what I'm looking for. We got Italians and Turks and Germans. So nobody for Japan. So instead, we'll just look for somebody that has good good bonuses here. Well, commandos are really awesome, so we'll go for auto here, the commando. Uh, and we do have somebody doing counter intel. So we don't need him doing that, I don't think. So trying to get this increased, so we might want to focus on continuing building it just to get it done as quickly as possible. Oh, the guy I had over here. I must have messed this up some. Okay, yeah, I must have grabbed the wrong person when I was assigning people. Because I took the guy that was out of here. Alright, so we'll assign him over there. Uh, we actually have two people doing counter intel uh, still, so we need to get... What did I do here? How did I manage to pull all these guys out? Like, did they automatically get pulled out or something, or did I just mess that up? I'm not entirely sure how they moved. All these dudes moved. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Uh, clearly I did something. Uh, and then with this guy, we'll have him do the root out resistance. Again, just until we can do a mission. Now you can see it is decreasing everywhere. Yeah, I won't be able to do any missions until we get the intel higher in Japan. So we'll just have to wait. Uh, we're losing some of those expeditionary forces because, of course, we're not at war right now. Uh, got those uh, additional bonuses for our air force, so that's fantastic. Uh, could go ahead and do secure landing grad, but... I think if they refuse, then you end up at war. And again, I don't, I don't want to end up at war with them because I'm worried that they'll join the Allies. There's probably a high chance they'll join the Allies, actually. So I don't want them joining the Allies and then having to fight them. And besides, you can see our supply is still kind of a mess here. So yeah, I think it would be better to, to just wait. We'll just wait. Uh, we've got plenty of focuses to work on. Still can't do the lessons of war yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this one over here for 35 days. Somebody told me that this is not based off of puppets. And I guess if you read it, it says allowing to build academies of science in allied, puppet, or integrated Soviet republics. So that's the key there. It doesn't have to be an, alliance, an, an ally or a puppet, which I was told it just has to be puppets. I didn't even know that it worked for allies. But apparently it does. But then it also works for integrated Soviet republics, so the, the Soviet republics that, you know, are annexed. So they don't have to be puppets. So again, somebody told me this very early on, that they got to be subjects. In fact, it wasn't one person. It was like three or four different people that told me that was based off of subjects. And if I would have read it, I would have seen that that isn't the case, and we could have done that much sooner, which seems like it would have been a really good one to do. Because, uh, yeah, we do have a lot of integrated, uh, you know, territory here, Soviet republics. So I wish I had known that, because I think that could have gave you some good research bonuses. At this point, research bonuses aren't as important, so that's right. We're not getting the air doctrines anymore. But yeah, I mean, there's not as much to research anymore. Uh, the fleet does need to get moved over here, but I'm worried about supply, so we need to fix the supply situation before we move them over there. It doesn't take very long for ships to move. Uh, we will move the fleet over here, though, eventually. Again, just got to spend some time getting all the uh, supply over there fixed before we start sending a bunch of crap over there. Uh, next thing to get that might be useful, we need to use civilian factories for other stuff. So that's something to consider as well. Yeah, we might not do much else. I mean, we could do this one to stop them from encrypting us, or, or decrypting us, excuse me. You know what, guys, I think we're not gonna do any of this right now. Could try and steal naval tax, I suppose, so you can build a fleet. I don't really care about building a fleet. In fact, we never did mess with the dockyards. Because, yeah, we lost all those those dockyards and factories. We dealt with the factories, but I didn't do the dockyards. So we're going to want to make some adjustments here. And probably really focus on the submarines still. Maybe even pull back a little bit like so. Yeah, it looks good. Now we do have some extra factories. We'll get more and more as we get the, the compliance up in those areas. Uh, we should probably just focus on fighters so we can try and gain control of the skies. Because, again, I do assume that the Japanese are going to have a lot of planes. I don't know how much we can actually see. Uh, yeah, we don't have exact numbers here, but could be 4,000, could be 3,000 something. We just don't know. So I just got to spend some time on Speed 5 to get all this stuff built. And I'm hoping that we don't have too many supply issues. Let's just go and dip through here 
and make sure that nobody's really getting hit by supply. That's why I spread them out like that so we win it. And we did finally get rid of the desperate measure modifier. Excellent. So that'll allow us to then get that next focus, which we've been waiting on for a while. So we'll have that done before we attack Japan. Yeah, I just need to spend, I don't know, probably about a year, honestly, with how much stuff we have to build in these areas. Now, a year will go really quickly because we're on speed five. But yeah, I think we're going to need to spend like a good solid year or so to get this done. We have two of those railway guns over here. Uh, we'll take a look and see where we're at on, on getting that stuff built. I uh, did finish up with that. We'll go and get the anti-tanks. Why not? Might as well just finish those up. Let's go and get that building. And uh, we do have some decisions available. Another merge plant one. We finished the, uh, the other one. So let's go ahead and get... I think the production efficiency cap would be the most useful. We are using all our political power for that, by the way. I don't think we have a whole lot of stuff to use political power for now, except for like the uh, the propaganda decisions. Uh, let's end the episode by looking, since we don't have any casualties to look at, just to see how we are doing on getting things constructed. So obviously the supply hubs take a really long time, and those are consuming two of our uh, lines here. Uh, we're almost done with those. We'll have them done in July, both of them. Uh, so those will be the two supply hubs over here. We might need to build supply hubs in Finland. You can see that it's, it's a major issue here, guys. Uh, building the infrastructure might be enough. We'll just have to see. But yeah, it's, it's going to take us a long time to get this all, all built up. Now, once we get the supply hubs done, then we can probably go ahead and throw an army over here. We won't be able to throw multiple armies over here, though, until we get the, the rails built up more. So, yeah, just keep on building up. Uh, we'll also want to put troops over here, of course. Yeah, we'll do all that next episode. Uh, as we prepare for the war against Japan. And this just lets the, the allies and, and uh, the Japanese just kind of throw themselves at each other for a while, where the allies can focus it's, focus exclusively on Japan for a time. Uh, and just kind of let them kind of exhaust each other a bit before we come in and uh, declare war and, and invade towards the end, as the Soviets historically did. Uh, and just kind of grab up. Obviously, we're going to grab all this, hopefully, unless the Chinese do it. Uh, grab all Manchuria, Korea... Uh, this little province here, get all that, and then we'll probably end up having to do the naval invasion of Japan, because I don't think the Allies would do it. They rarely ever succeed there. Uh, they still haven't even gotten the Philippines back. They feel like they've been here for like a year or longer, and they still haven't gotten that done. Looks like Indonesia is free. Now you have the Republic of Indonesia. They are not a subject, so it's not the Dutch East Indies anymore. So they, they are completely independent, and that is, of course, because... Uh, the Netherlands is now part of the common turn. Uh, if we want to just take a look at the faction map here, this is what it currently looks like. So, of course, you have these two little spots here that have joined the Allies, you know, that were uh, made subject to the British. Uh, but other than that, we've got control of all Eastern and, and Central Europe. So that's what the common turn currently looks like. And then, of course, you got the Chinese United Front over here, and then the Japanese faction. Uh, the Allies do have almost complete control of Africa outside of the Spanish and, and Portuguese territories. And, of course, they are both neutral. So that's the faction map. Hopefully we'll declare war in Japan. Uh, we should get there. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to get there. There's a lot of stuff that has to be done, but hopefully we should get there. But I don't think we'll get them uh, capitulated. I think there'll have to be one more video. We'll have to see how far we can get done. But, yeah, I think it will end up having to be another video uh, in order to actually defeat them. Uh, but yeah, we'll get the fleet moved over, get all that all that stuff done, get planes over there. Uh, but again, got to get the, the supply situation fixed first, which is, is quite an investment uh, to be able to, to pump large numbers of divisions over here without having severe supply issues. And then we're doing it in two areas because we're also trying to do it over here. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.